Hi guys, it is Wednesday morning. I had a rough night last night. I got some sort of a stomach bug. It was not good. I didn't feel good before bed. And then at midnight, Jackson woke up and wanted to eat. So I was feeding him and in the middle of feeding him, I was like, oh, oh. My mouth started to fill up with saliva. And I laid him down and I was like, Dennis, if he cries, you're in charge of him. I don't feel good. And I ran to the bathroom. Sorry, buddy. He's mad. He hates being in his car seat. Um, so I'm eating a couple crackers today. But anyway, it's so much different when you have a stomach bug and you've had gastric bypass, at least for me. Like, you know, after an hour, you have no food in your stomach. So hours later, you're feeling sick. There's nothing to throw up. So you're just like drooling and spitting and dry heaving and it's not fun. <laughs> Sorry, we're waiting for daddy. We're gonna go pick up Callie from school, go hang out in town for a little bit. And then at 4.30, we're doing the inspection on our home. Hopefully I'll get some little clips of the new house for you. Excuse me. Talk to you guys later. Bye. Jackson. Jackson. Jackson, are you ignoring me? Hi, bud. Sitting with daddy. What do you have in there? Ming Mosh Is that the end of your kids' hot chocolate? Happy. Hi, bud. Jackson. Hi. can't even see it so bright what I'm videoing. <laughs> okay, this is at the bottom of the steps. Straight forward is Callie's room. That is a bathroom. It's like a little storage room. This way is like another little living area. Hi. Okay, we'll go this way first. This is the downstairs living room. That's like a little cold storage closet. And then this will be the kids' playroom. Okay. This is the storage room. There's like all of the important stuff back here. And then here's sump pump. And then. Uh huh. It's a nice big area. We're going to put tote shelves along the walls. Hi, everyone. And then under here, we will have the litter box for the kitties and the little kitty bed. Mm -hmm. Let's go to the bathroom. Hold on, yep, let's go to your bathroom. Okay, this is Callie's bathroom. Hi. We're going to decorate it with mermaid Hi. stuff. Can I just tell you something? I could put Cindy's shower, but this is the shore. And this uh -huh. the and that's your mermaid tail. Okay, this is her bedroom. And there's the egress window. Oh my goodness. And there's her closet. Okay. That's the downstairs and that's the steps to the upstairs. Okay, uh, you just saw the basement of the new house and you saw the outside. But while I was there, I was like, oh, I'll just video this. And then at the end, I'll go upstairs and video the upstairs for everybody. Except for life got crazy and baby got crabby and at the beginning, they were um, doing the house inspection, so I didn't want to be in the way. So I was kind of where they were not. So I'm so sorry. You will have to wait for the upstairs for a different video. Sorry, here's a sneak peek of the house. Um, but yes, the house is nice and big. It's got a two-car attached garage with like extra, like a little shop kind of area behind the normal garage part. Um, it's a three-bedroom, three-bathroom house, like... 23 over 2300 square feet of finished um, living space that extra like storage room downstairs doesn't even count so it's nice and big um, yes I know that carpet is super ugly eventually we will change things around but it's a cool house I just wanted you guys to have a little peek of it um, and Kelly loves running around in all of the space but back to regular real life <laughs> Hi guys, I'm in a good mood. My hubby brought me coffee. I did not get much sleep last night, but it wasn't like stress that was keeping me up. It was like, I don't know, daydreaming about where I'm gonna put everything in the house. 
Uh, yeah, yesterday went really good. I'm just, I'm so excited to move. Ignore my roots. Like, I had to dye my hair super bad. <laughs> yeah, I think I got three, four hours of sleep last night. I don't even know. Not very much. But I'm just so excited. Like, when we were over there doing the house inspection, I was going through all the cupboards. And I was like, hey, I'll, like, if there's any stuff here, and I'll put this over here. It was just, it's super, super, super fun. I was figuring out what to put in which closets and it may seem weird but like I have no space in my house like we're going from an almost 1200 square feet home to 23 plus square foot home like with an extra unfinished room downstairs for just storage plus we are getting a two stall garage attached to the house we don't have a garage now like it's so exciting like just a big step up for my family and it makes me just happy. Oh, anyway, we got a bunch of kids home from school today. Their school was doing a ski trip and we needed to have a chaperone with for the little kids and there was no chaperones. So well, that didn't work out so I've got a bunch of extra kids. Plus another friend of mine is dropping off her kid while she goes to um, an appointment. So we're going to have like seven or eight kids here, I'm not sure. Um, yeah, should be a crazy day. And next week starts spring break, and that is going to be nuts. Now I have to figure out what I'm going to cook for all of these kids for lunch that they will actually eat. Anyway, talk to you guys later. Bye! Hi, Jackson! Hi! Good morning guys! It is Friday morning, one of my favorite days of the week. The weekend is coming! It's coming! Uh, so I just want to say I love my husband dearly. I do. <laughs> I, I don't understand though. Yesterday he had a day off. In the middle of the week we had to get some paperwork in for the house buying process. Um, but other than that, he had nothing to do didn't have to do anything so it was like an hour before I was getting home and I was like please can you just do the dishes in the sink and take the cans out of the house like all of his pop cans because he goes through a crap load of pop cans and so he goes okay I can do that I get home after working ten and a half hours no he did nothing nothing absolutely nothing so then I was crabby and I was like oh so guess what on my day off I have to do all the extra stuff but on your day off you get to do nothing and then mommy has to come home after working and do all the dishes before I make supper and before I pack his lunch and Callie's lunch really fun oh sorry you squishy boy oh squish 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 did you wake up for me in the yard? hi Anybody else's husband do things like that? No? Just mine? Pretty sure not. They feel like on their day off, they get to do nothing. Guess what? I work too. And on my days off, I still have children and I still have to get things done. He had no children at home to distract him. He could have cleaned the whole house. Did he want to? No. Do I want to? No, but I do it. Hi, do you see a puppy with a dad? Do you see the puppy? Oh, Ingrid. Hello, I know you want to play. I'm not in the mood to play with you right now. No. Do you love the puppy? You feel a little squishy, boy. Should we change your, your diaper? Oh, oh. Okay, talk to you guys later. Rant over. Men. Ingi, I don't want to play tug of war with you. Talk to you later. driving in a blizzard to go hang out with my brother and sister-in-law and Callie's having a sleepover. We might all have a sleepover if we can't leave. When someone's crabby. Hello. We're just getting home. Look at the trees.